Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling a rice. So I have finally reached level 50 and I think it's the perfect time for me to go over all the mistakes in this game you should not be making because trust me, to get to level 50 I've had to make a bunch of mistakes so far and some of those mistakes definitely ruined my account especially with the gold resources being very very scarce at the moment. I spent in this game but my gold went down so fast because I made so much mistakes. So don't be like me. So hopefully you guys find this video helpful and overall useful. If you guys want to see more content on solo leveling a rise then definitely subscribe to the channel and uh, if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and click the like button. Let's go ahead and get 60 likes in today's video and let's get right into it. So now this is if you're starting out the game brand new first thing you want to do just follow challenge over here do not do like do not use your uh gate keys your end core missions or instant dungeon keys unless it explicitly tells you to use it so that you can actually go through all this chapter very very fast you only use it when you require it so chapter four the thing is you can actually stack it even if you are currently not on that set level so right here where it says clear and core missions as you can see i haven't even done the first part but it's already done because i've used it already but when you get to the certain chapters when it starts you're telling you to use end core missions or whatnot then you start using your end core missions on day one only follow through the chapters uh the challenges over here and then before reset if it turns out you can't do it anymore then use all your gate keys all your uh, re all your items all your keys your end core mission keys your instant dodgy keys and gate keys before reset even if you feel like you're wasting it because at the end of the day reset is about to happen you're going to get a bunch of this stuff back so don't waste those keys and whatnot so that's an important mission before reset happens make sure you use all your keys to farm contents that you absolutely need uh so especially the end core mission is going to have two of these unlocked either focus on this if you want some boots and you know arm piece or this if you want some chest piece or a helmet piece so yeah before reset make sure you use all of this now when it comes to gates now i briefly made a video on this but gates you only oh my days i've unlocked a new difficulty damn i'm gonna get smoked okay when it comes to this is gonna be painful when it comes to gates you only want to do a rank and s rank anything below don't care about even this dungeon break over here it's b rank i am not gonna bother with it so only a ranks and uh yeah only a ranks uh, that's an s rank that's all i'm going to be doing now don't be afraid to rescan as well um you actually still want to do the regular gates as well because you do need all of this item and the regular gates is the only one that drops all of this item that is actually very very important in your progression sometimes i actually think it's more important than the dungeon great gates because for what i need i don't need this because at the end of the day before i can even use this i'm going to need all of this item in here so I absolutely need to farm this. So don't be afraid to farm it, but do not farm B rank one because you want to get um, essence and essence is only given from A rank and S rank only. So as you can see, this is really good. Oh my days, that was a really good success because we got 10 from that. This is a really good way for free to play players to be able to get a lot of essence and farming this. So very, very important. Make sure you don't cap out on the missions and make sure you're always sending out your mining teams as well. Okay, so very, very important. Now also, oh my days, I got a red gate as well. As you can see, special gate, red gates, whatever. Just take a look at what you require. Definitely need always do red gates though. Um, this is going to be a difficult one, so I'm probably just going to uh, sweep it because I'm too lazy to do this. So yeah, thank you. Okay, another mistake you should not be making is when it comes to building your characters. Now early on, you're probably just going to give your characters any artifacts you have just so you can increase the power and just get any regular stats boost which is fine but just know to change artifacts you are going to need gold now you don't want to be changing artifacts too often now in the future i definitely think switching artifacts is going to become a thing that you need to do because there is some artifacts that you will use for certain content and some artifacts you will switch out in uh, to use a different artifact instead but for now just focus on one set of artifacts and if you want to figure out how to build your ssr characters then it is important that you watch my previous video because I went over how to build every single SSR character and I also lived it, uh, left a timestamp so you can select the specific SSR character you want to build so that you can start looking at okay this is the best set so for me to for me to minimize the amount of gold required to keep changing out my artifacts then I absolutely as you can see I absolutely need to build my characters with the best artifacts initially 
so you can go ahead and do that now also don't level up your okay i made this mistake don't just level up the the gear now i did it so that i can get an increased power so if i go over to my team in total my total team power actually no it's not it's this 155k which is good however i feel like i have definitely sacrificed my goal just to increase my power because there's certain gear that i just didn't even need to upgrade to be honest but i only did just because i wanted to increase my power don't do that guys if the gear piece okay at the start early on as you're progressing sure level up any gear but don't do it too much like leave it to level 10 and if you have a really good piece then you can upgrade it further so for all the ones that you don't know if it's good or not then just leave it at level 10 so with this one over here attack percentage stat isn't going to be good for her but the mana consumption is good but this in general is actually not a good piece for her so eventually i'm gonna have to change this now in fact i don't think this is the best build for her at the moment but that's all i can give her so if i was going to replace that um gear to well, okay i didn't have any other gear for it so i have some level 31 but there's no point for that I, I need a level 50 let's just assume this is the game i'm going with again this is not good for her except the hp stat and the crit rate uh but the overall main stat that is not going to be useful so if you look at the main uh, main stats as well if it's not useful for your character then don't go too hard on that gear and just level it up a bit because if you want to take a look at all the artifacts that i've leveled up that i'm not even using look at them these are all the artifacts that i have leveled up but I'm not using. This is a bunch of waste of gold that I've done. Again, as you can see, artifacts that I'm not using and it's a waste. And that's only for the boots. So don't do this mistake like I did where I leveled up a bunch of artifacts that I know I'm going to replace. That's a waste of gold, by the way. Waste of gold, waste of resources. Do not do that. Okay. So yeah, make sure that you keep with your gold as well. Do not level up a lot of characters, okay? Um, I was able to do that because, well, I spent. But if you guys are free to play, level up only three characters at the start. And they have to be the best characters. So when it comes to SSR characters that you want to know who's the best, well, I've already made a video on that separately. But just to summarize, she is good, he is good, he is good, he is good, he is good. Do not level up. She's good as well. Um, Seo... Um, there's a couple of other ones I have I don't have sorry CEO she's good to build do not build him but if it's an SSR technically just build every single SSR character so uh, yeah okay we'll go back to hunters so like I said only focus on three characters now obviously if you re-rolled in this game that would be perfect you start off with either one ssr or two ssrs that would be perfect just level up any ssr character you have in general now when it comes to sr units that are actually good you have her she's good for break and freezing you have her as well and if you don't have this guy as your healer then you can level her up as well but only stick with level up three characters your main three hunters guys only focus on them because you are going to need to level up their levels and it is going to take gold as well so yeah only focus on free guys so i'm going to go ahead and just level them up right now perfect now if you guys know that you're going to be getting a bunch of actually on day one you should be able to do like 80 summons or day one or day two at least 100 or over 100 summons so your chances of putting multiple ssr is a lot better there um so you don't have to focus too hard on your sr characters to be honest um just because you you will get an ssr character in like day two or even day one if you are actually you know spending time to play the game and progress as far as possible um it is possible so uh yeah only focus on three main ones but like there's a couple of sr characters you can go ahead and build but uh don't stretch your resources thin as well now when it comes to character weapons as well just leave it to level 20 guys there's no point in trying to limit break it because it just you won't have resources actually to even limit break it early on and even then there's no point in doing that if you take a look at my characters the only ones i've limit broken are the ssr ones so if i go over to my uh team and then i'll show you guys the weapons as you can see when i mean limit break yeah is it limit break when you let, let me go to this it's called limit break no not this sorry let's let's see nope not that as well uh if i go over to here yeah limit break do not limit break it so like this i wouldn't do it for an sr weapon i'll just leave it at level 20 for now um this is fine because eventually you will be able to start crafting some ssr weapons so i only focus on limit breaking my ssrs in general for the sr weapons for my hunters i just left them all at level 20 as you can see
all at level 20. Now when it comes to Song Jun Woo, you absolutely want his weapon. It's a mistake going into this game is thinking you only need to focus on hunters. Honestly, in terms of progression, having Song Jun Woo's weapon will allow you to progress story a lot better. Like a lot lot better. So a mistake you can make is just going over to your drawer and only putting hunters in here. Do not do that. You want to equip some. You want to include some characters, um, some weapons as well, because any of the SSR weapon literally will help you guys clear content so much easier, so much easier. And you definitely don't want to skimp out on the SSR weapons. So definitely go ahead and get them. And if you do have the SSR weapons, limit break them as much as you can. It's it's fine. However, there is one resource you do not want to just win and neatly use. Don't use it on every single weapon, guys. Do not level up too many. You know. Uh, SR weapons as well. There are some good SR weapons, but don't do what I just did here. As you can see, I have so many SR weapons that I've leveled up, and that is a waste of resources, waste of gold. That is an absolutely terrible, terrible idea because you do need these resources um, over here. You think you have a lot, but you don't have a lot. Trust me, you need this. You absolutely need this. So, um, so as you can see, I'm, I'm literally dry. So, for the SSR, you want to focus on them. For SR, just leave it at level 20, but do not level up too many SR weapons as well. Uh, so yeah. Now in terms of progression, progressing, progression, um, a mistake you can make is excluding or forgetting that there is a bonus attribute or recommended attribute. This is definitely going to be very useful, guys. If you guys are stuck in a particular content, just to get extra damage. T definitely take a look at the recommended attribute and then you can give your song jin Wu the weapon and also the characters as well so this one would be wind i don't have any ssr wind character actually do i i have this guy so as you can see he has a uh, increase button over here which will be good but um i i well my current level right now is is good enough to you know challenge this but early on definitely take a look at the recommended attribute and then you can use those characters or that weapon if you have them available Okay, another mistake you can make that I would recommend not you not making is forgetting about the exchange shop. You will have the exchange shop on day one, and if you you know play through the game, you will unlock the gates as well, and you get this for mining. Now, early on, buying the instance dungeon and the end core mission keys are very very useful, so absolutely grab them. Do not make the mistake of forgetting about this. This is very very important, as well as over here. In general, there's the celebration uh, coin section. Go ahead and get. Okay, there is another version of this one with the blue resources. So only get that one for the room fragments. This is very very important. Now for the red ones, don't don't bother. Only use it to buy the uh, summoning tickets. Uh, so for weapon materials as well, don't forget. Don't make this mistake. By the way, there are some weapons that you would, do not need. Um, for hunters though, I've realized that early on you will not have weapons for hunters so keep the r weapons for hunters but for your song jin Wu, the r weapons if you have a lot of song jin Wu weapons and you have even srs and ssr then you can forget the r weapons we totally forget the r weapons and what you want to do with the r weapons is actually go over to here go over to salvage select all and the r weapons for my song jin Wu, i always sell now early on you might not want to sell them if you don't have any sr weapon for your song jin Wu. But if you start having a lot of SR weapons for Song Jin Ru, then yeah, forget the S um, and the R weapons. So I'm going to do this right now. This is not helpful. Okay, now for the hunters though, you might actually still use R weapons. That you, you guys saw me use some R weapons as well. Um, so if I take a look at my hunters, there is a R weapon that I do do use, which is this one, I guess. I'm pretty sure I had another one. Where is it? Okay, maybe it's not on this account, but I'm pretty sure I leveled up this one. Where is it? Huh, okay. So yeah, I did level up one SR weapon, uh, our weapon but uh, I definitely regret this because I'm not using this on any character. But it helps with getting precision stats, uh, which is useful as well. Okay, now when it comes to another mistake is uh, the wrong build for your Song Jin Ru. So, okay, you do want to get artifacts. Okay, right now, actually, early on. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to forget about that. But another mistake you can make is with your skills. You do want to be switching out your skills depending on the content. So um, equip skills with break when you're going against enemies with a break meter. And then if you're not going against enemies with a break meter, you switch out those skills 
for other skills over here that just has higher percentage in attack or damage in general which would be better so yeah like i said don't forget to switch those out as well uh yeah another mistake is forgetting to level up the skills as well uh, as you can see i have resources level up the skills uh do, 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 do. what other mistakes can you make challenges nope crafting always go ahead and check if you have any of this available always fuse it you want you want the ruins guys this will help with your skills uh and it's very very important when it comes to army of shadows as well just in case you've gotten to this point do not and i repeat do not use this resource to let me break your character or use the growth promotion on your uh, on your sh shadows unless you've unlocked three shadows if you've unlocked three shadows then you can start using this but if you haven't then you need to solely focus on using the trace of shadows to unlock more shadows so with let's say, let's say i didn't have the other three available and i only have ingress um Igris, then i definitely need to start focusing on you know unlocking the other shadows so yeah that that's my priority but i'm not gonna unlock right now that I've, i have three shadows i'm probably not gonna unlock iron i'm just gonna save all of this to limit break my shadows so that they can actually become better um am i gonna use this yes i will thank you get stronger my friend okay um is there any other mistakes that i regret making in this game not really oh obviously the basic one do not use your essence to summon understanding banner that's like number one 101 in every gacha game never use a premium resources to summon understanding banner it's a big no-no trust me um i did summon using my premium uh, premium currency but i am I'm a, I'm a pay to win player so it doesn't really matter to me uh so yeah i think that is pretty much it in terms of mistakes you can make in this game and mistakes you shouldn't make in this game always take a look at the events section over here just to make sure you've obtained every single item in here so that should be good and i'm pretty sure that's it that's all the mistakes i make the the most the the most impactful mistake i've made is when it came to using my gold for artifacts i i went crazy i went too hard on artifacts for no reason i leveled up a bunch of artifacts that i know is that I won't be using for long so and I didn't even know which build was the best for my characters early on so I, so I made a mistake of leveling up artifacts that are not going to be useful for my useful for my character so make sure you are watching guides by the way I release a bunch of guides on this game as well uh, so yeah it's been your boy AC Gamer don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm out